Hey, what's up guys? I am in the middle of the Ozarks. I'm at a I'm at a piece of private property called Flat Nasty. And it poured all night long. We did some amazing trails yesterday, some serious stuff. Did a little bit of damage to the truck, which is unusual, but it happens. But here's another thing. You see this? Hopefully that's showing. It's a small cut, but if left untreated, if I just wipe it off with a paper towel and leave it, I might be okay, but chances are it's going to get infected. I've had this happen to me before. Small, mundane, no big deal, scrapes, scuffs. When you're messing around with rocks and the forest and big metal machines, you cut yourself up. That was a scrape that I got when we were on a shelf road overlooking NORAD in Colorado. We're in a bit of a bind here. You see what I mean? We ran into snow and we thought we could get by it. So if anybody finds this phone, we made a slight error in judgment by trying to turn him around. But we gotta dig his out. Fortunately I brought two shovels. Unfortunately, we have two kids. Is that video <sighs> no. Your video I'm not doing that right now. Yeah. I'll make a video after we turn around. Okay. And it was just a couple of couple of layers of skin came off. No big deal. I ignored it. Well, it got infected. So long story short, in my wallet that I have on me at all times, I carry iodine patches and alcohol prep pads. Because when you're on the road, when you're out in the forest, you're in a survival situation, things like this can go septic. They can get infected and cause a whole world of hurt that didn't necessarily need to happen. Simply wiping it down with an iodine pad or an alcohol pad, or ideally neosporin, can save you a whole lot of aggravation. So try to remember that. Or don't. Your call. I'm getting ready to fix some breakfast here, and then go check out a couple more trails. And then I'm heading to my buddy's shop. We ordered some new axle studs for my rear axle, because I snapped one the other day. And then I got to figure out if I'm heading north or heading down to Louisiana, one of the two. But the weather's been really bad out here. Thunder and lightning all night, which makes no sense in December, but it is what it is. At any rate, 